President Morse's supporters are also on the street. What's the point of voting, they ask, if a year later the winner is forced to lose? We know there are people against Morsi. 12 million people voted against him. But 13 million people voted for him. It's a matter of voting. The core Muslim Brotherhood support has yet to mobilize, but it's not known how much of that remains. Well, there's no doubting the passion. There is doubting the numbers. The pro morsi supporters simply can't match those turning out against the president on the other side of the Nile in Tahrir Square and other places. This was the headquarters of the party of the deposed President Mubarak. Two years ago, it was burnt. Now a banner hangs from its ruins saying, Morsi is Mubarak. The atmosphere, similar to 2011. But Cairo is a city of 20 million people in a country of 85 million. Down at street level, most people are getting on with normal life. It's a difficult life. Prices up, confidence in politics down. Well, in my own country, some people just don't care about politics. A lot of people don't care about yes. politics. Isn't it the same here? Yes, there is. I, I, I believe we have more majority than yours, really. That doesn't care? Yeah. Because they're busy getting on with their lives? Yes. Over their lives, their income, they, they need the supply to make their children uh, grow well, not to be hungry. But under the surface, things are moving. This is the metro station for Tahrir Square. Anti-government protesters arrive determined to topple the president. They still probably can't do it without military support. The opposition movement's leaders say they don't want tanks on the streets. The government certainly doesn't. The military is still being ambiguous. All the protesters have so far are the numbers.